Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market-leading stocks for the coming session via our proprietary scans. This is going to be for Friday, September 5th, 2014. Well, the NASDAQ patch is a bit weak today, but we don't have a lot of signals uh, to show for. We had a fair amount of signals yesterday, and we're actually kind of geared up for some downside today. But fortunately, we don't have a, a dominance of signals on either side. One thing that could be interesting is Apple's posting an upside RPS signal on good volume. So we might find some uh, some strength trickling into Apple tomorrow, so keep an eye on that. As far as deviations go, we've got a volume deviation in Amazon. We've got a uh, open-close deviation in Biogen that's getting hit very hard here at the close. We have a volume bump in Tesla, and unfortunately Tesla has no signal associated with it. Moving on to the financials. Again, uh, Mostly paired off here, maybe maybe a little bit better to buy. Uh, MetLife is is probably shaping up with a volume bump. Aside from that, there's really nothing outstanding on this uh, on this list outside of the signals that you see here. We on to the energy names. Uh, most of the energy names are fairly weak today. BP is getting absolutely trashed today. Um, almost seven percent below the day's open on a huge huge volume, trading ten times its typical volume. Also seeing a volume bump in rig, and that one's really weak. Schlumberger is really weak as well. That one's uh, almost 3% below the day's open. A downside CPS and PBR, and we also have a downside CPS in Bolero, VLO. BTU is showing an upside RPS. That could be something to take a look at if this sector is showing strength tomorrow. As far as the generals go, you can see a couple deviations here. We've got an open close deviation in Best Buy. That's going to be putting up a very strong candle on a chart today with weak tape. Comcast has a volume bump. Dow Chemical has a downside RPS signal with uh, a volume bump, so that one's notable. Walmart doesn't have a deviation, but has an upside CPS. This is funny how when the market's weak, a lot of times you'll see some strength in Walmart or Johnson Johnson for that matter. Matter it's just kind of a kind of a safety trade. Moving on to the uh, housing names, uh, volume bumps in Hobnanian and Toll Brothers. Uh, both of those are uh, sporting. I'm sorry, uh, Toll Brothers and NVR are supporting RPSs to the upside, so they should be watched. Transportations, a lot of downside signals here today. Uh, so this group is definitely down uh, on the sell side. Uh, FedEx and UNP both have volume bumps, so keep an eye on these short tomorrow. And finally, the commodity names, um, with the ECB making its move and the dollars uh, in motion, uh, these all the uh, commodities are definitely uh, moving around here. There's a lot of big drops. Uh, ABX, volume bump and a huge drop. Uh, Double G, volume bump and a big drop. Newmont Mining, all the precious metals are really, really weak today. Uh, U.S. Steel, letter X, is up strong today on volume, but that one's putting up an RPS to the downside. So keep an eye on that one for tomorrow. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.